Hello everyone. So, in today's video, I want to show you, I don't know if I can call it a secret, but there is something I didn't know and I've noticed this in the occasion of making um, a video about the GPFs and bombers. Now, I thought that will be kind of, you know, useless. Uh, but I made this video because of one of the subscribers asked me for it, okay? But once I've done it and I start playing with that, I've noticed uh, something interesting, okay? Again, you could knew that, you know, I don't know, but I didn't know that. So, what I've noticed that when I'm attacking base using uh, uh, using the bombers, once the flags shooting at bombers, you can bring the GPFs in and the flags will still be aiming at the bombers. So obviously once the first bomber goes down, the flags will pick another bomber. They won't be shooting at uh, GPFs, which means that uh, obviously that tactic will only be good if you have like one row of flags. If you have a second row of flags, or even a couple of flags in the second row, that will be difficult for you because you won't be able to save the plane. It's so difficult to actually pick the plane which is targeted by the flags. So by the time you actually click it and try to save it, it will go down. But if you have a, a base where it's got just the first row, this is still doable. So what I've been doing is I was trying to grab the plane which being targeted, wait until it goes down to like 20% and then move away from that base and then try another one and another one and another one. And throughout entire fight, I've got like 10 or 11 GPFs shooting at the base. And if you calculate the damage, the damage from the GPF is slightly higher than from SP6s. But what I've experienced again that if you move SP6 towards the base, then the base will prioritize SP6 over the bomber. So you can't do that with SP6s. But for some reason GPFs has less priority for flags than the bombers. Now I'm not quite sure the relation to that, but I guess uh, as a single unit, GPF has only like uh, 12 and a half or 15,000 damage. Well, the SP6 single unit has like 37 and a half or something like that. So the flag will prioritize those with the highest damage towards the base, but then the second priority will be the armor. I mean, that's my guess because the plane has a 47 and a half thousand damage SP6 has 37 and a half so it's a lower but the the armor it is much much lower than the plane also what I've noticed if you're using a uh, Horton the Horton has only 2,000 armor the bomber has 3,000 armor so if you're trying to attack a bunch of bombers and even one Horton the moment the Horton starts shooting, the base will prioritize it first. So that's why my conclusion is that if you have a GPS, the GPS are quite safe. Okay? Now, you cannot do this tactic if you are attacking base in a more conventional way, which, which is using the Bredas. Because obviously when you're using Breda, you send in a very weak vehicle, but in large quantity, so the flux will aim at that, and obviously we know that the flux will not change the target until the first target is, um, is uh, destroyed. So, and that's what we rely on Breda. So we send in 47 on them, once they've been targeted by the flux, then we send the bombers in and attacking the base and th this is the way normally we do 
but in this case if we just rely on the bombers and you need to have a quite few of them you can have a you know probably even 15 or 20 um, uh, GPFs and that power that damage power or that weapon power against the base is probably the highest you can possibly have in the game so so once again if you have a two rows I suggest to send a couple of bredas first and do it in conventional way just to take some of the the uh, some of the flux down but then once you are on the, in the first row then stick with the with the GPS this is actually quite great and it's, it's working much much better at least for me at the moment uh, then uh, then with bredas it's much quicker obviously sometimes I will lose the bombers because I, I, I you know I either missed it or uh, deselect by mistake and obviously it's, it's gonna go down but um, if you are focused you know you, you can you can save them all you can save them all so so have a look on that um, on that video this is a, 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 a beautiful example of how I'm doing this and it does work now I have to say and I'm pretty sure you've um, you've had that before in the game where you attacking uh, the base with bredas and using your bombers and then the, the once you have bombers above the base the moment flux destroy one set of breda for some reason they will target another set of breda without you pulling the bombers out okay I had a few times and actually I had it just before that video when, when I was actually recording the video to show you this um, I had an example where they just aiming at my uh, GPS so not every single one this is gonna happen but in most cases that's what will happen I mean I took already like 10 bases on, on that map and only one was aiming at my GPS so so it is definitely a good way to to take the base especially if you want to sort of clean up the map so um, yeah so have a look at it and hopefully that would that would help you and also at the end I showed once again how to take the base using the conquest boat as per sarcastic request of one of the subscribers uh, referring to my conquest boat video anyway I will leave it to it and don't forget to subscribe like the video and I will see you in the next one No chance against us. Capture.